voice meter can look extremely complicated. I mean, ridiculously complicated, but trust me, if you watch this video, it's gonna be a breeze. All right, what's up guys? My name is Jacques or JQ. Now today I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to set up voice meter banana and also voice meter potato because it's basically the same program. Now we're gonna be making this extremely difficult looking program look like a little, little happy dog with a nice smile and treats and happy tail wags. But before we get started, you may have to download one extra program depending on what you want. If you're gonna wanna separate your music like Spotify or Apple Music from your desktop audio like where your game audio would be playing, you're gonna need to download this extra program called Virtual Audio Cables. It's made by the same people who make voice meter and I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description below to download the extra program, but you're gonna need it if you wanna do that. Now let's go ahead and explain this monster that we're looking at here. Now the easiest way to understand voice meter is that there are inputs and there are outputs. Inputs, there are three physical, this would be like your microphone, and then there are two virtual, which would be like your desktop audio and Discord. And then just like the inputs, the outputs also have three physical and two virtual. Physical ones being like your speakers or your headset. Then your virtual are what OBS and Streamlabs OBS are gonna be picking up. Also one small tip, if you're wanting to change the names of these different channels all you have to do is go to the name so right here it says hardware input just right click it and then type in whatever you want hit enter and then it's going to be specially named whatever you typed now as far as setting it up goes our first audio channel is going to be your mic so what you're going to want to do is come over here and left click the select input device now there are a lot of options here but there's not a difference between wdm ks and mme it's just the way that your computer processes that audio in my case i always choose wdm so go ahead and find your microphone under wdm and then select that now for those of you who want to separate your music audio from your desktop audio, come to the second channel and set it to Cable Output Audio Virtual Cable. That's that program that I had you install earlier. Now for that third hardware input, we don't want it at all. Honestly, just get it out of here. Jeez, hate that guy. But if we ever need you, please come back because we might, we might actually need you someday. Not today, but maybe someday. Now to set up your first virtual input, you're going to be on your desktop. Go down and left click on this arrow in the bottom right, then left click on the speaker, and then make sure that your playback device is set to voice meter input VAIO and not voice meter aux input or voice meter VAIO3. Next, go back to this arrow in the bottom right again, and instead of left clicking on the speaker, right click on it and then go to open sound settings. Now once again, if you're wanting to have your music separated, go ahead and go down to app volume and device preferences, then scroll down until you find your music player of choice, and then make sure that this first option is set to speakers VB audio cable. Now go back to that page before we went to the app volume and preferences and then go to the top right and left click on the sound control panel. Once you do this window should pop up then scroll all the way down until you find voice meter input then make sure to select it and click set default. After that go over to the recording tab scroll down again except this time you're going to be selecting voice meter aux output and then set that as your default. Next we have to set up our input for whatever program that we're using to communicate with other people. In my case I'm using discord but this also works for TeamSpeak or whatever else you want to use. So for discord just go to your settings down in the bottom left, then go to voice and video, and then change your input device to voice meter aux output. After that, change your output to voice meter aux input. And yeah, I know we're sending the input to the output and the output to the input, and it's a little confusing, but you know what's not that confusing? Smashing that like button so YouTube knows that you like this video. So next step, we're gonna move back into voice meter and set up our physical outputs. This is gonna be if you have a speaker or a headset or maybe both. In my case, I have both, but if you just have one or the other, only set up one of these. So what you do is come over here to A1, left click it, and then select whatever your speaker or headset is. Then if you have a second one, go to A2 and do the same thing, but you know, the other device. Now for the last couple outputs we need to set, go ahead and go into OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whatever you use, then go to your settings. While in settings, go to audio. So for desktop audio, go ahead and make sure to set it to voice meter input VAIO. This is gonna be all of your desktop audio and your game volume all on the same track. Now desktop audio two is gonna be your Discord, so go ahead and set that to voice meter aux input or aux VAIO. And then for the third track, we're gonna set up your mic, which is going to be the voice meter aux output but be careful here it's easy to confuse the discord and the mic audio because the only difference is it being an input or an output then once again for those of you who want a separate music track come to mic auxiliary audio 2 and then select voice meter output vaio so if you have it set up right it's going to look like input aux input aux output and output just hit apply and then we're done with obs now we've set up our inputs and we set up our outputs but we have to send our inputs to our outputs and to understand how to do that you have to realize that each one of these a1 a2 b B1, B2 respond to an output. So let's say for example here, I wanna hear my mic in my headset while I'm talking. What I'll do is select A1 for my mic track and that'll send it to my physical output, A1. In my case, that's my headphones. Personally, I don't wanna do that, so we're gonna uncheck it, but that's how that works. Now, as far as where you're wanting to send your audio, these are the four tracks that matter. And that second track only mattering if you wanna have that separate music audio. Now let's go ahead and walk through what we're actually doing. So for my mic track, we have B2 selected, which is sending it to Discord and then also to OBS. 
S. And for my Spotify, I'm sending it to A1 and A2, which are my headset and my speakers, and then also B1 if later on I want to have that showing up in a stream or a recording. Then for both of my virtual inputs, we have it sent to my headset, my speakers, and then we also set it up to where OBS reads it as well. Also, one tip if you're using a headset and a speaker, all I do is on my outputs, let's say I want to listen to my headset but not through my speakers, all I do is just mute the speaker track and then vice versa. If I want to listen to my speakers and not my headset, I mute my headset and unmute my speakers. Now we've covered your inputs, your outputs, and where to send your audio, but there are a couple more features that Voice Meter has that I think just Mwah. cherry on top and make it an amazing audio software to use. And those settings being these very basic things you can put on your mic to make it sound so much better. Now the filters that each one of you choose for your mic and voice meter are going to be a bit different because, you know, you all have different mics, but I can walk through and give you a good baseline of what you should be doing. Now in my case, I turn the gain on my mic down just a little bit so I'm not picking up as much background noise. Then I go ahead and set my audio to mono. Then I add just a smidgen of compression. It takes the highs and lows of my mic and just kind of presses it down together a little bit so it's more even. Next, I put a noise gate on my mic so I'm not picking up as much background noise. If you have a noisy environment, this is something that you're gonna need to do. But once again, you're gonna have to adjust these settings for each one of your individual mics. Next up, my favorite effect to apply to these mics is gonna be this little bit of an echo effect. Now this is what my mic sounds without that echo effect, but if you just go ahead and move it over there just a little bit more, you can see there's a good difference in between my mic before and after. It's a subtle effect, but I think it adds that nice touch. All right, hopefully you guys found this voice meter tutorial helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you want to make it. Also, let me know down in the comments below, what do you want to see in future videos? Did you like this video? Do you think I should have done something different? Let me know down below, and until next time, peace. Alright, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how...